Hi, we're back with the Arduino Duo, and today we will test out the CAN communication here using the built-in two instances. So let's click reset it. So on the terminal, we can see uh, this is an example for the uh, EK port, but uh, I made a few modifications here to use it on the Arduino port. Okay, so uh, we will communicate uh, using the instance uh, CAN0 and CAN1 together with uh, the physical trans receivers for CAN. Uh, those are the TGA1050 and uh, we will uh, send data using the CAN low and uh, we will uh, change the status of the LEDs, the L LED and uh, TX LED. So let's start uh, the example. So let's send a charter and uh, by the first test we received uh, the test data. Uh, the CAN high data is always the same and uh, we toggle the TX LED. So now let's do the second test. So now uh, we received uh, different uh, data, everything as expected. So the L LED is toggled, so it's low. So let's go with the third test. And we received the uh, test data as in the first test and toggled the TX. So the last test here. So we toggle back on the TX. So everything is fine. And now let's take a look at the code that we got for this example. Okay, so this is the main file for the example. And in the description you can uh, read here uh, what the test do, uh, what is set up for the UART. And right here we got the definitions for the two messages that we are going to send on the low line of the can and the high line of the can. Right here, uh, length of the message and two mailboxes, two structures to initialize the can. And also a variable that we received something on the interrupt handler. We only use one interrupt handler for the can one to read data. And right here we got a function to check what we got in the mailbox of the CAN. So right here I'm printing the message on the low line and on the high. So on basis of the message received and the, yeah, only message received, not the length, uh, we toggle the specific LED, a function to reset the structure of the mailbox and uh, right here we got the first test. So in the first test we set up uh, the CAN1 mailbox as a regular receive with uh, a few masks for the A and B uh, specific and uh, a index here. So uh, in the header we will check if it matches. So if it matches we will write uh, to the mailbox and right here we got the CAN0 mailbox for transmitting. So the TX mode. And uh, we will transmit uh, the data low as the toggle LED0, so this message. And uh, the high data as this. Okay, and the frame length as uh, 8 intended. So now we can write to the mailbox and set up the interrupt for uh, receiving data. So right here, as we got the mailbox uh, written, we can transfer the mailbox zero that we got set up here uh, to the main uh, to the can one. So after this. Uh, we check here if we got received the data in the interrupt right here. So if this flag is set up, 
So if it is, then we check the message on the low line and the length of it. So if it matches, uh, we can read the message. Okay, so after that, uh, we disable the interrupt and go for the second test. So the second test uh, is setting up uh, the can one in the receive mode, but this time we got uh, no masks and no ID. So we are accepting everything that comes uh, into it. And the mode uh, for the receive uh, will be just a rigs. So uh, what we will receive uh, at the end of the transmission uh, will be in the buffer. So we got the can, can zero here set up for transmitting. And we transmit the first message. Next on, we set up uh, the second mailbox of the CAN0 uh, to write a different message. Okay, and we uh, load up the mailbox. So this is the second mailbox and this is the first mailbox loaded. Uh, right here we write uh, the two mailbox messages from CAN0 and to enable the receiving on CAN1 mailbox 7. So after the receive uh, we check for the second message and uh, after it's correct we print it out and uh, toggle it the LED. So the third test uh, does the override. So uh, as before, the CAN1 mailbox is set up and the CAN0 mailboxes are set up in the same order. So the first message is the uh, LED0 and the second one is the LED1. Okay, so now this time uh, the LED0 will be read out because we got uh, the CAN0 mailbox uh, set up in RX or write mode. So now we are checking for the LED0 message. So if it is read and it's okay, so we uh, decode the message. So the test four is a bit different. So the CAN0 is set up as a producer mode so it will respond to commands with sending a specific data. So in this case, the zero on the low line. And uh, we will set up the CAN1 as a consumer mode. So uh, we do the text and also receive right here. So after setting the masks and uh, ID, we do a transfer uh, and before that we enable the interrupt. So as we receive uh, the command from CAN0 after the transmit from CAN0, I mean the CAN1, uh, we are waiting for the message from CAN0 to CAN1 and if it is the LED0 that we set up right here, that means it is correct. So this is a different mode of uh, operating. So now we got a configure of the UART. So by the way, the UART is working on the uh, second USB that is connected uh, to the Atmega 16U. So it is basically a UART to USB converter. And right here we got the main function to set up uh, the clocks and uh, board uh, peripherals, also the UART and the uh, uh, clock control for the peripherals. So uh, now we set up the CAN. 
disable the interrupts and set up the interrupts for it. Okay, so now this is uh, to invoke the test 1, test 2, test 3 and test 4. So after that uh, the can is simply disabled and it is being now put into a infinite loop. Okay, so now let's check again the example. So sending anything right here we got the first message. So now it went with all the tests. So we got uh, the third test, it is the first uh, answer, fourth is also the first answer and the second test has a different uh, message on the count low, so it all works as it is intended to. So, hope you find it useful in your projects and see you in the next one.